every day a woman rests. Hi, and welcome to Style with Trish. I'm your host, Trish Stanley. This is the place where the everyday woman reigns. I'm so excited about my guest on today. She's none other than celebrity makeup artist, LaCondra Lala Hayes. She's gonna be sharing all types of application tips with us. We have Nicole Simkin Collections Boutique. So make sure you stay tuned. We will be right back. Every day a woman Welcome to Style with Trish. We are on location in Aiken, South Carolina with one of my favorite boutiques, Nicole Simpkin, Simpkin uh -huh. Collection, okay. aka NSC, with the owner, Stephanie. Yes, Stephanie Nicole. <laughs> we gotta say both of them. <laughs> um, as everybody know, I love I love boutiques, and we connected a couple of years ago. Uh, we were just laughing about that offset. Mm -hmm. um, how I just inboxed you on Instagram. Hey, I need this, or do I need to be going to your website right. and all of that? You make yourself available uh, to both the uh, local. Uh, customer as well as online what's the importance of that and then after you answer that we'll go back to how, where you got started um well local's important because it's mm -hmm. aching and it's home but online i want to reach everybody i, I want mm -hmm. everybody's money you know <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I heard that yeah but you know get, like i said we like you said we've known each other through social media yeah. so i get to connect mm -hmm. um so that's that's very important and your your marketing on there is really good i like it um because you you have so many different dynamics. You model your clothing. You yeah. also have models. Right. And I know you got a lot of following because you know how to dress the fingers. <laughs> we'll talk yes. about that later. We'll discuss those fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but how did you get started? Where? And I always ask this question: Where did fashion find you, and where did you find fashion? At what point in your life? I think I found it at a very young age. I remember my mom would always say, what y'all want for Christmas? And my sister would always want electronics and I want clothes. Mm -hmm. But I didn't think about that going through school or anything like mm -hmm. that. It just came later. And I was always an accessory person. Mm -hmm. And um, it's like, how can I make your clothing pop mm -hmm. accessories? So I started with, ac with accessories and then just added the clothes into it. Yeah. And you also style. I see yeah. you, you, you have a lot of platforms and we're going to, uh, try to tap into all of them. <laughs> um, but what has been the toughest part of being a uh, entrepreneur, just overall period? Toughest part? Funding it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That would be the hardest part. Um, mm -hmm. um, naturally, I think the marketing, because mm -hmm. I don't, I know it's marketing, but I just do it, mm -hmm. you know, so I don't, it's not Natural. hard. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's not hard for me. And um, so, yeah, just figuring out ways to stay, mm -hmm. um, current mm -hmm. and stay relevant stay in the people's face they see what they want now that's kind of hard too but um you just figure out how to maneuver through it yeah and then you do you have a team or is this something you oh just yeah join? okay you know i just pick my friends they know that i'm <laughs> my sister my mom my cousins okay luckily they'll jump in whenever and then i have um high school girls that assist me yeah in the store and you know they're always ready to model oh so. absolutely boutique clothes okay. what so <laughs> That's pretty easy. <laughs> but, yeah. So you're downtown. Would you mm -hmm. consider this down? I consider it yeah, downtown. downtown Aiken. Aiken. What's important about being, because a lot of people can't afford downtown nowhere. Look at God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, favor ain't fair. Um, but I, yeah, I always say favor for real. Yeah. Because downtown Aiken, anything in Aiken, mm -hmm. if you live in Aiken, you know it is very... Um, pricey sometimes mm -hmm. and i'm off of the the main part of downtown aiken mm -hmm. is lawrence street but i'm mm -hmm. park mm -hmm. but i'm still downtown it's oh, central yeah. location so um i love that part of it but yeah it's just 
networking yeah and would you say that even has and plays a part into your marketing because you have people a lot of people especially Aiken to me is historic it has a lot mm -hmm. of history to it so when people are coming here to visit right and they I want to go downtown and I want to shop you're getting foot traffic mm -hmm. even from that even though you're making the sacrifice right. of the cost right it kind of I'm, I won't say it balance does. it but it's worth it yeah and a lot of my um traffic comes from word of mouth okay yeah, so a lot of people, I heard about this little boutique on the end. I didn't even know it was down here. Mm -hmm. Yep. So mm -hmm. the the fashion industry has made a huge shift. Inst Instagram has really changed a lot. I mean, we got Instagram models. We got Instagram everything. Right. Um, now, and it really shifted the area of fashion and having stores. And uh, we are finding and seeing a lot of the major stores, like Cole, the Coles, the mm -hmm. Macy's. All of those stores are closing. Yeah. Because they can't compete with the boutique. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you think about that? Is that a good thing or is that not so good? Well, um, being a boutique owner, mm -hmm. we're competing with the, um, oh, what's the store? Fashion Metros. Mm -hmm. They're getting a lot of the pieces that I would get from my suppliers. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I guess it's trickling down. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why you find ways to stay original. That's yeah. why I always I continue to make handmade accessories because yeah. you can't copy that. Yeah. yeah. Um. You just gotta find ways to stay. Um. Un, find your niche. Be a necessity. Yeah. You yeah. gotta be something they need and something that's original. Yeah. yeah. We in our second half of interview, uh, we're gonna have a, a model come out and she's going to uh, show us what I feel is, and I might be wrong, the over aesthetic for your boutique. Okay. I think you. Um, and I followed you long enough to pick up on this, but right. I, you you um, provide your clients and your your customers with the leisure, mm -hmm. comfortable pieces. Right. And I think that's your niche because some of the other boutiques they they're glammed out yeah. all the time, you know. And it's it's. Mm -hmm. it, but if you want something that's leisure, but you want not a whole lot of people to have what you have right. as leisure, you're the yeah. spot. Thank you. Yeah. And I try to base my um, pieces that I purchase. Mm -hmm. um, off of my style. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm, sometimes it changes, but it's always going to be cute and comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I always say NSC is for the woman on the move. Mm -hmm. So you might have a few things you need to do. Maybe you want the same dress to be for day and night, mm -hmm. but usually something you can dress up or down. Right. And people don't have money to spend on one outfit like a right. paycheck. You know, right. I want you to be able to come back. So mm -hmm. that keeps my customers coming back. It's affordable. Yeah. yeah. And you, there's other things that you do um, in the community as well. You, you have a love for young ladies. Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, I recently started, uh, we actually had our first meeting today, mm -hmm. um, mentorship. It's called the Winter Circle. Okay. So it's for ages, I think we did 16 to 19. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, the girls that I have in the shop with me, they're usually high school girls. Okay. And we bond and mm -hmm. you start to learn a lot of stuff that is really needed. Mm -hmm. And I know I didn't really have anybody to, that was kind of like an auntie, but mm -hmm. not, you know, mm -hmm. so... Just seeing the need for that, and um, you learn. I learned a lot from them too. Mm -hmm. So, giving back to the community and allowing them to have a space to share, and and, and and that's an area that is so needed. We need our girls to. I say all the time, let's return back to class. I'm tired of yes. us being ratchet. Ain't you tired? Be, I'm so sick of Trey Rache. <laughs> I mean, we might have a ratchet moment, okay? Because right. <laughs> we're her, women, right? I'm gonna have a ratchet episode, but my whole life should not be Trey Rache. That's what I call it. But yeah, you it's, know, just, it's, it's I very needed. Yeah, and, I, and I'm gonna say this on on air. If you ever need me for anything, um, I love to uh, teach and demonstrate exercises oh, on yeah. how to build self worth. And I would love to pour that into young girls because we're you automate. Okay, we're born. Mommy, daddy love us, right. you know. And of course, they're gonna love us. They won't ever think we're ugly, or, right. you know what I mean. And <laughs> when you you don't stay with them always, right. Who really teaches us and show us self-love? Well, that is great because the next topic is for the mentor group is self-awareness. Yes. Look at you. Yes. Yes. And, you know, it was funny. I used this analogy before. I told my um, grandmother one day, um, I was sitting across the table from her and I said, I'm going to get a, actually, I wasn't talking to her. I just said it. I'm going to get a nose job. And she looked at me and she almost cried. Mm -hmm. And she said, I gave you that nose. And ever since then, I'm like, oh, I love my nose it, right. in all its wideness. That's I it. Every nose. Bit of it. And so that was a part of you have to love who you are, even the physical, because mm -hmm. your ancestors gave That's right. 
the exact way we're sitting here looking now, our mm-hmm. ancestors gave us yeah. that. And well, so it's something to be proud about. Yeah. One of the girls, she um, she was like, my forehead is so big. I was like, look at mine. <laughs> and I'm still cute. Yeah, exactly. So what? You know, you just got to accept that thing. We can't change that. I love exactly. It. Mm-hmm. And so I, I think that's awesome that you're doing that in, in whatever capacity um, I can assist and in, in aid in that. I'm making myself Thank available you. to you. Um, last question is what we talked about. What is one of the most difficult parts of being an entrepreneur? But what is one of the most joyful parts of being an entrepreneur? <sighs> I get to dress women every day, mm-hmm. you know, and seeing them, especially when it comes to original pieces, like I'll rip up shirts and things mm-hmm. like that. And I don't know what they're going to like, but usually if it comes to me, somebody likes it mm-hmm. and thank God for that. But just to see someone walking around in my creations, mm-hmm. that's always a highlight. Cause you have a, you have that stylist in you as well. Yeah. yeah. So, but we're going to uh, take a really quick break here in a second. And when we come back, we're going to continue our conversation. Okay. Um, but we're also going to bring out a wonderful model. I mean, she's all right. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to share with us a couple of the pieces okay. here. What I feel you're known for um, here at um, NSC. Yes, hashtag and, NSC. Um, but just the last hot second, what is one of the funniest things that have occurred to you <laughs> since being in business? Oh, God. That's a tough one. Yes. <laughs> funniest thing? You might have to think yeah, on that Yeah, let me one. think on that one. <laughs> okay. But I want to know the answer okay. to that. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking on I that Because I know one. it's been some. Yeah. I know it's been some. But we're, guys, we're going to take a really quick break. When we come back, we're going to have more with Nicole Simkin, a.k.a. Stephanie, <laughs> <laughs> of NSC Boutique. We'll be right back. Stay with us. We have looks coming from Nicole Simkin's Collection Boutique. Hey, I'm Joel Gameron, National Chef for Sur La Table, and this week's Meal Prep University Cooking Scrappy, it's all about fridge soup. Never throw away leftover veggies again. You can use them all up in a perfect meal prep recipe. Just roughly chop up all the veggies you've got, add some chicken bouillon, and top it with water to bring to a simmer. After about 30 minutes, add some cream and emulsify. This soup is a perfect way to clean out the fridge and make several meals at once. Portion out the soup into containers, about a cup and a half to two cups each, and top with some chopped chive. You've got a week's worth of food ready to go. Hey, thanks so much for joining me this week. Make sure to check out my show, Scraps, on FYI and A&E. Every day of Stay tuned for What's Happening with Sand. Hey guys, this is Dr. Cassandra Parks, and I'm doing my What's Happening with Sand segment. Let's talk about getting your feelings out when it comes to relationships. A lot of people have a tendency of doing this at time to time and we, you know, it's something that's normal. But when you get passive aggressive in a relationship, a lot of things start to happen. Uh, You start to sulk, you start to stonewall, which means that you, you don't let anybody know about your feelings. You keep them all in. You get very, very quiet and, and talking and, is to a minimal. So when you start doing that, that helps build a wall for any relationship that you may have. It could be a work relationship. It can be a personal relationship. Um, any kind of relationship, if you start being passive aggressive, it will stall your relationship. So there are a couple of things that you want to remember when you do that and how to do it you want to start slowly by talking about your feelings your your feelings are very valid and they matter to anybody whether you believe they don't they do and a person cannot fix what is going wrong if you don't let them know about your feelings so how is a person supposed to change or do better or do anything that you want them to do or need them to do if you don't talk about your feelings Give that person or another person or whoever that you deal with an opportunity to fix that. You also have to remember when you're passive aggressive, people do not like being around you or dealing with you because the thing is, they're going to say, oh, she's just going to say she's fine or he's going to say everything is okay. So there's no reason to even ask them what is going on. If you want something changed, people have to know what is going on with you. So you have to remember that you cannot, you cannot, you cannot not talk about your feelings. And that 
that is something that would make you healthy too because if you don't get your feelings out, you harbor those feelings and that can affect your health as well as your mental health as well. Um, you cause yourself stress, anxiety, sometimes lack of sleep. So when you do things like that, you're not only hurting the relationship, but you're physically and mentally hurting yourself. So remember to get your feelings out, tell people what they need to know. You may want to be more tactful about when you say things, however, but make sure that you do get your feelings out and you talk and you tell people what you need because what you need is what you need to live and go on. So that has been Get Your Feelings Out. My name is Dr. Cassandra Parks, and this has been What's Happening with Sand. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is the place where the everyday woman reigns. You can't sit here. Don't add her to the chain. It was just a joke. We're not friends. Why are you talking to me? He started it. She's so gross. Lame. Loser. Weirdo. I've said and done things before that I'm not proud of. Just as I've been hurt by others. The thing is, this, this is not who I am. And it's definitely not who I want to be. I don't want to be cruel. I don't want to spread gossip. I don't want to be a body shamer. I don't want to exclude anyone. I don't want to make anyone feel lonely. Left out. Hurt. We have the power to be more. We can create a kinder world. It's not that hard. We just need to stop. Take a moment. And consider others before we speak. And before we act. Be more. Be more. Be more. Update your wardrobe with fabulous looks from SB Boutique. SB Boutique has something for everyone in a variety of sizes. SB Boutique carries an exceptional selection of today's fashions along with exclusive pieces from the hottest Atlanta designers, including a wide selection of shoes and accessories to complement your style. SB Boutique is a premier fashion for a boutique located at 2750 Chapel Hill Road in Douglasville, directly behind Starbucks. Visit our website at shopsbboutique.com. Stay with us. We have looks coming from Nicole Simpkins Collection Boutique. Now we're going to have our model, Deanna Gale, show us one of our favorite pieces sold here at the Nicole Simpkins Collection. She's going to be modeling one of our V-neck tint maxi dresses. These are perfect because they go from day to evening, um, from the office to dinner. And uh, she's accessorized with a handmade accessory. She has on wooden earrings and with a simple flat shoe. So this V-neck tint maxi also comes in several different colors and there's always great to accessorize with a neutral clutch and this clutch is very, very easy to keep up with because you can throw your hand through there and it's a great natural color. We're going to add a bamboo bangle. So she's kind of staying in this whole natural vibe. We have a wooden necklace, um, bamboo color here. Her shoes are kind of natural as well as the accessories and the earrings. The V-neck maxi is a favorite of the customers because it's so versatile. It comes in a variety of colors. It can be worn throughout the year, all seasons for a daytime event or evening look. And our next look is going to be a play on this whole maxi dress, but it's going to be with a spaghetti strap. Our next look is also a maxi, but this one is spaghetti strap. Now we have a lot of ladies who may not be comfortable showing their arms, so we add a kimono. Hoops are fun. They can be worn with everything. You're not sure what to put on, just throw on a hoop. And she has a long necklace on, which elongates her neckline and is very fitting for the occasion, whether it's dressed up or down. This V-neck spaghetti strap maxi has an adjustable strap, which is perfect because we have those who are shorter and those who are taller, so it adjusts. And she has on a kimono, which can be buttoned up or left open as she's wearing it now. 
um, silver hoop earrings. We love a hoop because it's great for various looks. So simple accessories that complete this very comfortable and casual yet cute look. I just have to tell you, I love both looks that you demonstrated today. Thank the you. very first dress, I love it because it's now become a everyday staple for me at work. Okay. Um, but also, I like it's it's a cool, breezy look if you want to shop and be cute while you out shopping. Right. Um, now, one of the things that I do with it is I'll throw one of my shoulders out because I'm fast. Okay. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, what are some? What else would you have done with that look? Well, I have um, some ladies uh, who are really small up top, mm -hmm. and they actually do both. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. They okay. do both off, so that, that adds a little flavor. Mm -hmm. And I like it with one off, too. I must mm -hmm. be a little fast like you. You know, the one little shoulder <laughs> out. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's cute. And it's just great. I love to wear it out to dinner. It's yeah. It's just great for this. It's comfortable. It's not conforming. I'm one that if, and I've said it several times on this show, if it's going to constrict me, if i got to wear a, a, be sucked up, right. it's not meant for me to wear because I'm not going to wear a girl. that right. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Not for it. So it's definitely a comfortable look mm -hmm. for that. You you mentioned the bangles. We did one bangle for that. But yes. what is your norm? Okay, so my thing is I think bangles should be worn in odd numbers. I, I don't know why. <laughs> but you see what's the first like one bangle or three. Right. Not two. Like I okay. feel like you're missing. See I have one. <laughs> it needs to I don't know. This is an odd thing for me. I don't know. This but I, I mean for those of us who are challenged when it comes to accessorizing, we need rules. Yeah. We need the rules. So um and that was the second look. I want to talk about the second look uh, real quick before we go into my accessories okay. that I acquired. <laughs> um, I love that look. As soon as I saw it, I thought an evening at the beach, yeah. you know, on vacation. It's crazy it's vacation. Just, yeah, mm -hmm. and it was just, it's elegant, it's within taste, but it's comfortable. Right. Now, the, the kimono, they're kind of in right now. Yes, kimonos, I keep them in the boutique because okay. we can wear them with shorts, denim. Mm -hmm. You do so much with them. They're so mm -hmm. versatile. You wear them over dresses. Mm -hmm. They're great. And yeah. like that one she had on actually has buttons on the front. Right. So a lot of people wear like a kimono top. Mm -hmm. So they're just so versatile and mm -hmm. I, I enjoy them. And you can even, I'm kind of crazy that way. I would even flip it over and have my back out a little bit with but the buttons. Again, and, yes. Yeah, and then have it kind of high up. Oh, that's just me. Just <laughs> and then the accessories, even on on that now I'm like obsessed with hoop earrings I gotta find me a pair okay I want a really skinny pair uh -huh. of hoop earrings um I only normally do one every day just a little small ones um so is that something that's in or is it just is our hoop earrings just something that always stays in Hoops it's classic. are classic it's yeah. like denim yeah like you always need a hoop yeah I agree. silver or gold some people mm -hmm. are into rose gold mm -hmm. but yeah hoops are great if you're not sure what kind of sense I just throw on a hoop I wear hoops mm -hmm. a lot of time yeah mm -hmm. um I challenge I'm challenged in the accessory area um I'll see maybe a, a real signature necklace piece mm -hmm. but I'm not feeling I feel and maybe you can tell help me on this okay. I feel that if you have a chunky necklace then mm -hmm. you need to have minimal earrings i would really have... prefer that okay <laughs> <laughs> well there unless you're just that person you okay. have those who are just over top with everything right so it's nothing for them to be chunky here and big here you mm -hmm. kind of see them you like that's just her look okay but for me if i'm doing a statement here this is going to be very minimal yeah or these are big nothing here right. or something very you know right so those little rules they make a difference and mm -hmm. you, you can do what you want but you know now i have very skinny fingers y'all mm -hmm. very skinny um, and so I've always been challenged with costume jewelry yeah. and you, you're on Instagram and you showing your hands and all this. I'm like, I want some rings. <laughs> so I had finally got the chance to come here and she has designed my finger wear. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't probably gonna ever take this off. <laughs> so what is the, what is the art to it? You, you were mentioning to me, don't, don't think about where you're right. placing them. Just, just place, place them. them all. Let's just place them. It's just a statement. You Make know. sure your nails are done. Yes, <laughs> it really pops with your nails. And like she said, I often post a picture and I'll just be like this. And they're mm -hmm. like, oh, <laughs> you know, and it's just the look. But just place them wherever you want. The thin ones, the thicker ones. I'm just glad we found some of that feature of tiny fingers. Yeah, there. and it's and you you know my size now. So. Yes, I got And you. I'm, I'm looking for a thumb ornament. Yes, That's my, my, my next request. Okay, we got it. <laughs> but it, share anything else about you that you would like and about this awesome boutique that is located once again downtown A in South Carolina. Share anything to, to close us out that you would, and even any encouraging words to young girls, which yeah. you uh, mentor as well as other entrepreneurs. 
I would just encourage you to go after whatever it is that you're passionate about, whether it's fashion, business, or whatever you really feel like you're called to do, because people will pay you for that. Um, I'm really excited. We have a teen model fashion show coming up, and my girls are really putting it on. So mm -hmm. I'm just excited to be able to give back to them. To They wanted to do it, mm -hmm. and that's always a re rewarding thing because mm -hmm. they see me do it. They're like, we want to do it. Mm -hmm. okay. And you're an example. You're being an example that... That's why it's so important to give back because right. we're they see us doing it. Right. But then they have to try to create how it was done. Mm -hmm. And you're reaching back and you're grabbing them by the hand yeah. and you're guiding them through that. Who knows who you're mentoring? That's uh, who's right. the next that you're men mentoring? Right. So I think that's an awesome thing. Guys, we are in, as I stated earlier, downtown Aiken, South Carolina. If you're in that area or surrounding areas, please reach out. But you don't have to be in the area. No. It's an awesome okay. boutique experience. Mm -hmm. But if you're not in the area, she's available on her website. Share your website. The NicoleSC.com. You can always catch me on social media, hashtag NSC on Instagram, Nicole Simpkins on Facebook, or Nicole Simpkins Collection. But, yeah. I'm always available, and I do quickly respond. Yes, she does. Yeah. And if you need help with your styling, this is a one-stop shop. Right here. You know, one-stop shop <laughs> right here. So make sure you guys come out, support her, and let her know that Trish sent you. Oh, thank you, Trish. <laughs> More to come with celebrity makeup artist LaCondra Lala Hayes. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Is she gonna get it, Daddy? She'll get it. Get it. Get it. When you bring home a Goodwill find, you give your whole town a reason to celebrate because you're also funding local job training and placement programs in tech, healthcare, and more. Goodwill. Bring good home. Update your wardrobe with fabulous looks from SB Boutique. SB Boutique has something for everyone in a variety of sizes. SB Boutique carries an exceptional selection of today's fashions along with exclusive pieces from the hottest Atlanta designers, including a wide selection of shoes and accessories to complement your style. SB Boutique is a premier fashion for a boutique located at 2750 Chapel Hill Road in Douglasville, directly behind Starbucks. Visit our website at shopsbboutique.com. My guest today is none other than LaCondra Lala <laughs> Hayes. She's a celebrity makeup artist, and I've been following you for so long. Um, you guys know I'm a, what they call it, an Instagram troll. <laughs> in a good way, in a good way. Because um, I like to see people in their essence and, and see the work that they've done. And, and you have been blessed to really work with a lot of different people. Before we get into that, just share with us, how did you get into the this this wonderful arena of beauty? <laughs> um, actually, it started out for me um, in high school. Um, mm -hmm. I was in a performing arts high school like okay. my whole life. And so uh, my junior year, we did uh, Dream Girls. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> we ended up, um, I did some of the cast makeup for the show. Okay. And so when I got to college, um, I started doing makeup. I became like the campus makeup artist mm -hmm. at Bethune Cookman College. Shout out to Yay. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then I transferred to Clark Atlanta University. Yay. That's what brought me to Atlanta. Shout out to the campus. <laughs> yes. And I became the campus makeup artist there. So okay. I actually never went to school for makeup. I oh, went wow. to school for music. I was a voice major. Wow. <laughs> so, but my makeup, yeah, so my makeup artistry took over for me. So okay. that's kind of like how it all happened. So, But who was the face that you saw as a child that made you love makeup? I mean, was it, was it anyone as a child that you saw them? Like my oldest sister was just, yeah. she applied music, uh, music, makeup. makeup 
wonderfully, mm-hmm. um, but I didn't develop that art, but I used to love to watch her okay. put it on. Was there someone like that for you? My mom. Okay. Um, she would put on her makeup. And she wasn't a makeup artist, but she just I just used to look at her and sit mm-hmm. in the bathroom and just watch her do her makeup. Because mm-hmm. I was like, she's so pretty, you know? <laughs> but then also some of the women in the church, because um, okay. my, my mom's a pastor, so some of the okay. women in the church um, were like beauticians and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then my older sister, Nikki, mm-hmm. <laughs> she always was like... Um, look at this style can you do this because mm-hmm. I do hair too so she's okay. like I want you to do this style and even if I'm like okay so that's kind of how I got into it just like seeing something and doing mm-hmm. it type of thing and so you learned like you said you you saw things and you learned from it mm-hmm. was it during the time of the YouTube era it wasn't I was I've been here I've been here since 2002 okay yeah. so you didn't you didn't have the benefit that a lot of people have where you can go on the you which is no benefit to me because I still can't do right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. but I know a lot of people say they learn uh, just by going on YouTube so what you've learned so how do you how did you get it how did you learn it well my I guess I'm one of those people um, you know it's different types of learners or what right. have you but um, my first counter job um, was at fashion fair that was my first oh. line um, so with me just like I said, into the whole beauty arena mm-hmm. before it got like everybody's a makeup artist and mm-hmm. hairstylist now. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> it's a lot of them. Um, but yeah, no shade. Hey, we all, could, we all could get it. But um, yeah, but back in, like I said, high school in Miami, I'm from Miami, Florida. Okay. So um, just being in the arena with, like I said, some of the beauticians in the church, I just looked up to them. Mm-hmm. And then when I got to college, um, that was my first like makeup job working for Fashion Fair at the counter at Dillard's. Okay. And um, that kind of like help me to like get adjusted with different faces and skin mm-hmm. types and skin tones mm-hmm. um but i just always i'm an artsy person anyway mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. i just always kind of just had an eye for art and just mm-hmm. like different stuff like that so i think i feel like honestly my gift is from god to yeah. be honest with you because yeah. i feel like nobody can really teach you you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying it's and, natural exactly mm-hmm. and then for me to be blessed with the opportunities that i've had i, I just give all the glory to god for that yeah. honestly yeah well I, you know i think you do awesome work Thank i love you, uh the work that you do like i said i've been nosy for a while <laughs> <laughs> Check me out. Okay. Right. so speaking on the this new influx of we're going to focus on makeup mm-hmm. artists what are some of the things that one who is a client it could be a bride or it could be um, a teen going to prom what are some of the things that they should look out for when considering a makeup artist hmm some of the things well for one um, you like I said you want to go to a person's page or website mm-hmm. or what have you mm-hmm. um, and just kind of like look at some of their work mm-hmm. um, and it, it, it actually is based off of the person like your mm-hmm. style or what mm-hmm. have you so mm-hmm. you know you have some makeup artists that like beat real heavy mm-hmm. and you have some are light handed I'm in the light handed arena okay. Okay. <laughs> for the most part I can do you know a either or different kind but yeah. um, you know just in looking at just their demeanor like you know you can tell Mm kind of just by the pictures and stuff that they post Mm -hmm. most of the time um did their customer service like yes all i'm like really big on that you know and um so i would say just you base it off of like what you want done or i Mm -hmm. guess you can say so just looking at the work that they do Mm -hmm. um their cleanliness Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. what i mean so Mm -hmm. especially if you're a person that has like sensitive skin and everything like that so um but most of like the high school girls they'll typically come to the counter like at mac i've been with them for a long time and they kind of like look at the artists and look at our faces Mm -hmm. to see (laughs) oh so they test you out that's how they do they check you out they like okay her makeup looks cute her makeup looks cute you know what I mean so right. but if it's a person and they're like I'm like their makeup they won't go to them right. type of thing so right. it's about appearances yeah basically that first appearances is it means a lot it does it <laughs> yeah. really does and then like you said in the world of social media you can put your your work up mm-hmm. um, as I stated before you've been blessed to work with some major mm-hmm. um, uh, celebrities um, is there a difference in print Photo. Well, I guess print is photo Mm -hmm. as well as television. Mm -hmm. Because what I'm seeing right now is I see a lot of uh, women walking around with looks that only (laughs) complement the lights, but on an everyday basis. So to me, they look like Skeletor. (laughs) They look dead. But if you put lights on them, then okay, I get that look. So (coughs) it's almost a two-part question. Um, What is the difference between on set mm-hmm. makeup versus just every day okay um well typically you know here in atlanta we kind of have this 
trend mm -hmm. or fad going on with the whole housewives look. Mm -hmm. So, of course, most of the time they get their makeup done. They're celebrities. They go right. out and about, you know, their people are taking pictures of them or they're mm -hmm. under the lights. Um, for everyday makeup, you typically don't have to really go heavy mm -hmm. um, because you're, you're going to be a natural lighting. So it mm -hmm. is about the lighting. Um, but some people just like to look extra glam or extra zhuzh. So I think, I think that's it's, the word extra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about what you prefer. <laughs> Preferences, everything. Um, for me, like I said, I have like my everyday ladies yes. I love. You know what I'm saying? They just want to like make sure. You know, it, really to me, makeup is not necessarily to like you know, they have the thing on Instagram where there's like, oh, makeup artists are, are, are witch doctors or oh, <laughs> they're wow. doing witchcraft yeah, it's because scary. it's like you turning someone into like a whole different mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. But I feel like makeup is supposed to enhance your beauty. Yes. Not necessarily. So that's like my motto with mm -hmm. my business mm -hmm. is um, adding a flawless touch to an already beautiful you. Yes. That's like my motto for yes. my business. So I want to be able to enhance women. But then, like I said, if they want to look housewife of Atlanta is. I can give them you that give too. them whatever they exactly. what, whatever they ask for. Yeah. Do you get that a lot? Do you get yes. um, <laughs> people come in with they already have a pre really? They give me oh I want to look like this picture of Beyonce and you're like okay I'm not God but I'm gonna help <laughs> I'm gonna do what I can you know what I'm saying I'm gonna do what I can but you know um, I just try to like I said I try to compliment whatever like their features are yes. and you know their skin type and stuff like that so yeah. Yeah, it, it's funny. I guess early in this, this whole thing, um, one of the things that my husband told me was, you need to let the professional do what They're the professional done. does. Yeah. And so I've never gotten into a seat, in a, a makeup artist seat, and said, well, I want this look. Yeah. They asked me, well, what are you wearing? Mm -hmm. And then they just do whatever they do. Yeah, um, I like I said, I'm one of those people. I'm kind of in the middle with that because mm -hmm. I am big on creativity, of course, mm -hmm. um, especially like working for Mac for so long and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But I'm still one of those people like I want you to be happy with right. what I do. So right. sometimes, you know, our creative juices may not be may, flowing may, the same right. way. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure that I'm doing what you ask and mm -hmm. also still putting my twist on it yeah, yeah i get that that's what i'm about i get that mm -hmm. so we're gonna we're gonna take a, a quick break here in a second okay. when we come back i want to talk about we're gonna do some name dropping okay. if we can <laughs> we're gonna do okay. a little bit of name dropping okay. and i also um just want just to, uh, uh you got to explain to me mm -hmm. how do you do brows okay. <laughs> i can't do it to okay. save my life i don't we'll Practice. talk about that boy okay. in, here in a few moments but guys you have been uh, listening to and sharing and laughing with today's <laughs> guest, none other than Lala Hayes, LaCondra, full name. Uh, yes. um, and she, we're going to be right back. We're going to take a break. As a kid, I sung out of just pure joy. Oh, look at me and you clapping, singing at church. Then in high school, I sang as therapy. Here I am singing. I've been through things that a person twice my age shouldn't have to go through. At age 16, I was in the shower one morning, getting ready for school, and I felt the lump. Not only did it turn out to be breast cancer, but they said it was very rare and aggressive. They immediately wanted to remove both breasts. I don't think I'll ever be able to find words to describe what that felt like. I decided to allow them to remove part of the breast. When I thought that chapter was over, to have a recurrence in the opposite breast 18 years later, definitely reaffirmed to me, not only did I want to live, but I was determined to maximize my life. I was the first person on either side of my family to go to college and graduate. I was recommended for the Young Women's National Advisory Council for Susan G. Komen. Breast cancer advocacy was something that chose me. It became clear pretty early on that this was a calling. At age 16, I knew no doctors, I knew nothing. But by the time I was diagnosed when I was 34, I had a person I could pick up the phone and call. I, love you. I had a new community. I appreciate you so much. I've noticed 
that particularly in the African-American community, we're not talking about it enough. God give us clean hands and a pure But we're dying disproportionately. At a nearly 41% higher rate, we're dying. But when we treat it, when we catch it early, people are living long lives. I'm proof of that. When I can take a moment of pain and turn it into purpose, it makes it all make sense. So today for our tip, we are actually gonna be doing eyeshadow for Miss Trish. And we are gonna do a brown smoky eye using this palette. And we're also gonna use this palette for the inside to give her a little shine when the light hits her. I will be using three brushes today. I'm using a blending brush, which is fat at the tip like this, an angle brush, which is fluffy like this. And I'm also using a precise brush for under her eye instead of using an eyeliner. So I'm gonna start with the, under her eyebrow using my angle brush that's fluffy. And literally I'm going to place the product right under the brow. I like the color that I use for under her brow, so I'm not gonna change that. I'm actually using close to a translucent powder for right under her brow. You can use the lightest shade in your eyeshadow trio or eyeshadow book or box, whatever it is that you use. So after I do that, I'm gonna go in with my blending brush and I'm actually gonna use, not brown yet, I'm gonna use a tan color, which will be our connecting color. And I'm gonna place that not right up under the brow, but a little under the brow, right before the crease of her eye. And I'm gonna place and rotate my brush for blending. And I really just want it right here because this is gonna be our connecting color so the brown is not too harsh. We can see a nice blend going up. So if you see me, I'm blending in circles and also kind of moving the eyeshadow to the inside by going like this. And sometimes you get a little more on one eye than you do the other, so you just go back and make adjustments so that it can be even. I like this brush because it allows me to put the product on in layers. Not too heavy, just enough. So after I get my middle color on, which is this peach kind of color, I'm gonna go in with my brown. And I'm actually gonna start my brown close to the bottom of the eyelid and circle. Bringing it all the way to the edge, but not too far up. And I'm just going in with the, the brown a little bit more at the bottom just to intensify it. Which, like I said, this brush allows you to be able to have layers. So your application can be as thin or as thick as you would like it to be. So last, I'm gonna go in with my fluffy angle brush. And I'm gonna actually use this palette that I was speaking of. And this is like a brownish color, but it has like a a light shimmer to it. So I'm gonna use this and go right at the bottom of her lid and the inside of the corner to kind of bring everything together. And since this color is so light, you can actually take it up 
just to connect here. And our last step is to go back to our original palette with our pencil brush and we're actually gonna go under the eye. So look up for me, Miss Trish. And we're using the same dark brown. And the reason I'm using eyeshadow is because I don't want it to look like a defined line, but I want you to still be able to tell that something is there to give her eye shape. For more tips just like these, please log on to GOGMUA.com. Thanks so much. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. This is the place where the everyday woman reigns. If I could go back and change it all, I would. I, would. I think I'm gonna miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Or maybe it's just the little moments. I could go back and change it all. I could go back. I would. But I can't. Update your wardrobe with fabulous looks from SB Boutique. SB Boutique has something for everyone in a variety of sizes. SB Boutique carries an exceptional selection of today's fashions along with exclusive pieces from the hottest Atlanta designers, including a wide selection of shoes and accessories to complement your style. SB Boutique is a premier fashion for a boutique located at 2750 Chapel Hill Road in Douglasville, directly behind Starbucks. Visit our website at shopsbboutique.com. And we're back with celebrity makeup artist Lala. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Before the break, we were talking about, you know, just well, two things. First, we're going to start out with the, the brow issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to drop names. Okay. Um, what it, and I, it may be something that's very, very easy for you, mm -hmm. but I struggle with just filling in mm -hmm. my brows mm -hmm. because I don't want it to be too big, mm -hmm. which is a fad right now. Mm -hmm. um, but then I don't want it to be the wrong color. Okay. What is your advice to someone who is learning just, and it didn't even have to be the brows, mm -hmm. any simple application mm -hmm. uh, other than lip gloss, because okay. everybody can apply that, mm -hmm. but highlighter, mm -hmm. eyeshadow, mm -hmm. what are some of your points for those who are simple minded? Okay. Um, well, I do actually teach one on ones. Oh, okay. So plug. <laughs> no, I do teach them. Um, but yeah, it's about practicing. Um, and when it comes to like brows specifically, like your hair color is kind of mm -hmm. like you have some blondes and browns. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those people you should match your hair with your brow color, basically. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't stand seeing like someone with like a platinum blonde mm -hmm. hair weave or wig or color and then they have black eyebrows. Like okay. I can't get into that. Mm -hmm. That's just me. Um, but <laughs> when you're doing your brows, it's about practicing and like okay. you said about your preference and your look so mm -hmm. if you don't want to have like the big brow we mm -hmm. usually call it the mac brow okay so <laughs> you get you can use like a brow pencil mm -hmm. something that's like a very um small kind of Mm -hmm. Brow pencil, like Mac makes them, Anastasia Beverly Hills mm -hmm. make them, the Brow Wiz, mm -hmm. um, that has like the brow, uh, pencil on one end and then it has the spoolie on the other okay, end I to see. help okay, that. Mm -hmm. feather that. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you have the concealer trick. That's what kind of like cleans the That's brow. That's where up. I struggle. Exactly. So you would need an angle brush for that mm -hmm. and, um, some concealer. I would, uh, recommend if you're trying to just do like a highlighted brow, you would do mm -hmm. like a shade, maybe one shade lighter than your okay. skin or two. Okay. Um, um, if you want to do like a natural, not mm -hmm. to really have the highlight under the brow, then you would just use your skin tone as far as the concealer goes. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you're just basically doing the hair light strokes. You're going to go right under the um, brow mm -hmm. hairline, and you're going to do the pencil, do it on top a little bit, mm -hmm. just fill it in. And then some people get to, they have an angle brush, two angle brushes, so you'll get that. Some, pop, some people use the dip um, brow pomade stuff or something is that like the oily the creamy okay kind okay. of stuff the brow pomade they'll mm -hmm. use that to fill in their brows if your hairs are like very sparse mm -hmm. um if it's not really hairy and then mm -hmm. they also have like the brow powder there's yeah. different things that you can okay. use so whichever is easier to me most of the time like my clients when they're first starting out on brows they typically um go easier with using the pencil okay to fill in for okay. them so it's just so they can kind of control it better mm -hmm. that's the thing but yeah just the angle brush in practice like yeah. you just have to practice 
chiropractors is not really <laughs> that's what I struggle with I'm I like <laughs> to do show and teaches that's okay that's something that Matt kind of like taught us mm-hmm. doing the show and teach so you'll have a client sitting in your chair and they want to learn a specific look mm-hmm. it could be an eye or to do a day to mm-hmm. night look for the eye mm-hmm. um we would do like take step by step so you'll start on the brow you let the client do the other brow they're holding the mirror as you're doing oh. it so it's show and teach okay yeah so okay. it's one of those things some I need people to sign up for a class okay I'm, <laughs> serious. I'm dead serious some people are hands-on so you probably yeah. need instead of you just watching it on youtube trying to do it you need someone like yeah right in your face like okay come on yeah. sure, do this yeah, do. yeah so and and the other difficult thing is the eyeshadow. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how do y'all stack the color on there like it? It's just so well, hard you for can't. me. Some people. That was one of my things too when I first started out as a makeup artist because I was very light handed. Mm-hmm. Um, but just some different things I picked up. Um, when instead of like wiping the shadow on your eye, mm-hmm. if you actually tap it on the eye, oh. that's what kind of like stamps the color. But okay. you have to be careful too because you got to make sure you work on your blending and right. stuff and just have the proper brushes to apply okay. everything. And then I had a one client, she was like, um, my shadows are like running in together. Like they're mm-hmm. all like the same color. And mm-hmm. she had like a brown, a pink. And, and I'm like, it's because you're using the same brush and you're not wiping oh. it off. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that now I would know that. <laughs> and I have a lot of brushes. Okay. I have a lot. I don't, I don't know. I guess because I always wanted to be able to do my own makeup. Mm-hmm. So the importance of, mm-hmm. that's why I think it's, I have brushes, but I'm not sure how to use them. Okay. And so I'm definitely going to sign up for a class okay. because I need help. I want to learn how to do my brows okay. and eyeshadow. Okay. So you got that right. I got you. Okay. I got you, but Trish. another thing that I love about you that is seems signature mm-hmm. is that you'll do a pop color mm-hmm. under your eye. Talk I'm about that. All about that. <laughs> I just love color, like especially some some of my favorite colors. But to me, um, it depends on what's happening to mm-hmm. and for the client and what they're doing. But that is like one of my signature things. Like mm-hmm. I love love doing like a pop of turquoise green a purple okay. instead of just the regular black yeah. and especially on the ma- more mature women mm-hmm. um sometimes they'll like get stuck into that whole era of the whole black eyeliner right. thing right it kind of makes you look older at times when mm-hmm. you just only wear unless you're going for the dramatic eye so it's best mm-hmm. to like use a lighter color because it's gonna somewhat look black on you anyway mm-hmm. so using like a dark purple a dark navy blue Ooh, dark green mm-hmm. yeah you know that's my favorite yeah. color purple. We about the purple life. <laughs> yes oh yes yes so using that is gonna actually help to you know give you a more youthful look and okay. still give you the pop that you need and it give you something different different yeah something different mm-hmm. uh, so let's start dropping a few names you okay with that oh, cool. <laughs> okay um you've been blessed one of my favorites i think she is so beautiful mm-hmm. is monique yes you had the pleasure of working with her how was that experience it was awesome it was recently mm-hmm. um I got the gig. One of my friends, um, she's a she's her stylist. Okay. And one of my other friends, um, that's a makeup artist. She knows the stylist, so they called her and she's like, "I can't do it." She's like, mm-hmm. "Law, can you go?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm good. I can mm-hmm. go." So got there. Monique is so sweet. Mm-hmm. She's so nice. She's so down to earth. Mm-hmm. She's so like real sister <laughs> right. for real. Love you for real. She really right. do love you for real. Yeah. And she gives like the best hugs. Like mm-hmm. she's all about that. So I I really love her and. I've actually got it. I did her makeup for, um, it was for an, um, an event. She did a comedy okay. event for this sorority. It's a sorority for okay. like, um, women that were in the military. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh, they cool. hired her to come in for that. They had a big event here in Atlanta downtown. Mm-hmm. Did her makeup for that. And then I did her makeup a couple of times actually at her house too. Wow. I got a chance to meet her family, mm-hmm. um, for her podcast that she does okay. on, on most Wednesdays. Yeah. So yeah, yeah Good. it was, a, it was a great experience. How do you feel when it, when opportunities like that present themselves to you? It was awesome for me because being a makeup artist and being one for so long, Mm -hmm. you know, we have our seasons Yeah, (laughs) where it's like, oh, it's so slow. And you're like, okay, God, do I need to um, go into something else? (laughs) But every time I ask God that question, that's what I'm saying. And that's exactly what happened in that situation. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, I think I love to hear Mm -hmm. you guys express Mm -hmm. that because a lot of times you get caught up in the fact that the market is saturated. You know what I mean? But what's for you is for you. Amen. (laughs) What is for you? you? I'm like, thank you. But yes, it does. Sometimes I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes it gets a little discouraging, especially for me, like for me, because I've been on the scene for so long and then you have all these other new makeup artists and Mm -hmm. not like I said, not that I'm hitting because there's enough money out here for us all exactly. to make you know what I mean and well, like what you said what it is for you is for you mm-hmm. but it's just because there's so many and then it's so heavy social media driven oh yeah 
for me back in the day, it wasn't all about social media like mm-hmm. that. We were like word of mouth or just mm-hmm. people like, oh, she did this, she mm-hmm. did that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I have to, what I'm doing now is actually trying to rebrand. Oh. I'm trying to rebrand because I do want to get more exposure, mm-hmm. even with, like with the social media thing yeah. and stuff like that. So, you know, you want to try to keep lady. up with the time. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm 35, but mm-hmm. I feel a little mm-hmm. older in my head. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I've been doing Forever it for so young. long, you know? <laughs> yeah. So it's like, okay, like, okay, you got to keep for your business to keep yeah. flourishing. You got to keep reinventing. Changing, reinventing. Exactly. We talk about that a lot here yes. on Style with Trish. But I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me. Before we sign off, I want you to share with our uh viewers where they can contact you or connect with you on mm-hmm. social media uh social, social media. media okay well again my name is lacondra lala hayes my business is called miss lala of flawless beauty creations i am on ig it's flawless beauty creations all one word on ig um i have another ig which is my personal slash kind of business one but it's um pro underscore sangin mm-hmm. underscore mua because i do sing too <laughs> and um as of now my website is actually being re like i said i'm because mm-hmm. i'm rebranding so it's, it's being reconstructed right now but you can reach me on social media lacondra lala hayes L A C O N D R A Lala L A H L A H and Hayes H A Y E S. Mm-hmm. All social media, Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check me out. Well, thank you so much. Thank it's great to meet me. you in person. You too. But you know, I'm taking yes. that class. Yes. Don't forget. Yes, I would love to have you. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. As I stated before, our guest today is celebrity makeup artist Lala. We'll be right back. Well, I came to the conclusion today that I'm just scared. I never gone and got checked. I don't want to deal with the consequences. So I just act like, okay, I don't know. I don't care. And then after my mom's situation, we were having a conversation and I don't know where my mom was like, oh yeah, I went to the doctor and told me they had this little lump, but they're going to take it out. But my mom in my eyes, she's like superwoman. Mm -hmm. So I didn't think of it like, oh, nothing. I'm like, she got it. So now after hearing you guys' story, I'm so inspired. I'm going to go home and do the whole everything because I need to take charge of this, and I'm I, I'm gonna do it. Yay! It's time. So, go to knowyourgirls.org to take charge of your breast health. In four days. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. <laughs> she had so many children. She didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread. There you go. And kissed them all soundly. Night night. Good night. And put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. I want to thank my guest today. As you know, here on Style with Trish, it isn't about how we wear our hair or the makeup or the clothing. Style comes from within, and it is who you are. So even though we love to play as women with makeup and play dress up, that doesn't engulf who we are overall. So let's not get caught up in being made up all the time and you're only beautiful when you're made up. You're beautiful inside and out with or without makeup. I wanna thank my guest once again for coming and hanging out with us. In closing, let me leave you with this. Love isn't love unless you give it away. Give some love away.